Okay, so welcome back. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about some methods that I use to gather together a bunch of blocks of code that I tend to use over and over again in my applications, gather those together into a single library of code so that when I start up a new project, I can just bring that library into my new project and have access to all of that different code and not have to reinvent the wheel and rewrite everything from scratch. And I find that to be extremely useful. Okay, so if you're like me, you've probably got a ton of C-sharp project solutions. Uh, and in those projects and solutions, you've probably got um, some functionality that you use over and over again. Um, for example, you've got file opening and closing, saving to file, opening files, prompting the user for file names, that kind of stuff. Um, logging, like if you're working on a project and you want to log some data to a text box so you can see how it's progressing. Uh, timers, I'm always using system timers for um, durations and that kind of thing and simulations. Um, conversions, if you're always converting stuff from one format to another or one base to another. Database operations, if you're always doing certain database operations and objects you might always be using. Maybe you're simulating actual physical objects and you like to use those over and over. Complex math or matrix operations, um, parsing strings, all of those kind of things are things that you can put together into like a library of functionality and reuse. So here I've got a very minimal library of classes that provides some basic functionality that I find I'm always using. And up here you can see it's called the Tools Library. And it's got, in this case, it's got four classes, a file operations class, an image tools, an interval timer, a logger. So for example, file operations class, I've got a public static class called file operations, and it's got a couple methods. One is file read, and it returns a string and prompts the user for uh, the name of the file. It gives an open file dialog, prompts the user for the file, and then returns the string of data that it read from the file. And then uh, it's also got a file save where you give it a, a string array and a file name, and it will write the data to a file. Um, and I've got the same image tools, interval timer. So if you want to do like a system timers dot timer and have subscribers, um, a logger. So if you want to log some data to a text box in a Windows Forms application, I've got a static class logger class and it's got multiple methods and you can feed it either an integer you want to output or a double or a string or a double array and um, it will send that to whatever text box you tell it. Now again, you can add many, many, many different classes to this and use it when you're opening up an application. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show you some ways to uh, utilize, if you've got a class like this, a set of classes like this, how you can utilize that in a blank project. So here I've opened a blank Windows Forms application. It's got nothing in it. And let's say I want to access some of those classes that I just showed, like I say I want to do some file operations. Well, how do I do that? Well, I can go up to the name of the project and I can right click and I can say add existing item. And here I can go to the project that has that tools library and you can see right here, I've got all of those classes are available, those class files. So I can just select one of them or multiple. In this case, I just don't want to use the file operations from that um, project. And there you go. I've added the file operations class to this project. And here you go. It's, it's all right here and I can use it directly. Now, there's another way to do that. I can add, so let's say I want everything that's in that uh, library to be included into this um, solution. Well, I can add the entire project to the solution. I go up to the solution, right click, add 
existing project and I can go to the tools library and, and select the csproj file and it brings the entire thing. So I've now got my file operations, image tools, interval timer, and logger inside my solution. Now, what you also have to do is you have to set up a reference. If this library test is your main application and you want to access this tools library, you have to add a reference to that tools library. So you go to references here in your main application and right click add reference. And you go here to projects and go to your tools library and hit OK and you've just added this reference down here, tools library. So now you can reference um, all of the classes in this project in your main project. Okay. So let's go back to this, view the code, and here's my, my uh, initial main project. And what I have to do is use a using statement, using, and I can use tools library. You can see it recognizes it. So I'm all set. So let's try out the logger class. So what I've done, I've taken my uh, basic form and I've dra drag and dropped a text box on it. And we're going to use the logger to output some data to the text box. So I've got the text box and all I need to do is um, access the logger class. And you see I've got logger, it recognizes it, toolslibrary.logger. And I'm using the logit method uh, that we showed before. And basically I'm just saying log uh, the number five. It's a variable called test and log that to text box one. So I can run that and you can see it does that. It, in the text box said test equals five. I encourage you to think about putting together all of those things that you do over and over and over again into a single project with a bunch of uh, static classes that you can access from any project. And all you got to do is add the project and um, access those classes. Now what it does um, is it makes this library test as your main application and this becomes a dynamic linked library. And if you look at the folder, the BIN folder where this um, is generated after you do a release version, you can see that there's a DLL called tools library. So really nice way to um, take advantage of stuff you've already been developing.